Good morning, church. I have been made aware of a situation that is going to affect all of Ohio, especially our children and future generations, if this passes this fall. You might have heard of issue one. You're going to start seeing signs in people's yards, and I think there may be some confusion about issue one, but I want to, uh, I want to call us to two things about this issue. The first, I just want to make you aware of what this amendment will do. This amendment is going to be the most radical amendment that could be enshrined in our Constitution if it passes this fall. It, it's a, an amendment that says this, every individual has a right to make and carry out one's own reproductive decisions. Now, we might say, well, that sounds logical. The problem with that is this, it doesn't give an age on that. It says every individual. That means this, any child, any lady, any female that is pregnant is considered an individual. A 12-year-old would be an individual, a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old. These are all ages of my own daughters. If a child becomes pregnant, they have the right to make a decision of what they're going to do with that child. If they want to abort that child, the parent will have no right. As a matter of fact, in this summary as well, it says this, that no one can interfere with that individual's rights. So a parent cannot be involved. If a child goes to the school and tells their school teacher or guidance counselor that they're pregnant, that school cannot contact the parent and cannot get the parent involved in that decision that that child's going to make. This bill will take away all of parents' rights to be involved in a most the most major decision a child will, can make about their own health and the health of another human being that's living inside of them. A another issue that we have with this bill is this. It says necessary to protect a pregnant patient's life or health. Now, it sounds great. Again, this is like Swiss cheese. There's so many holes in this because health would be considered this, mental, emotional, physical, or family health, the uh, health of a, a family member. So if a, a woman was eight and a half months pregnant and she went to the, an abortion doctor and said to him, I'm pregnant, my husband has just lost his job, I'm emotionally in distress, I can't have this child. Physically, emotionally, financially, we cannot do this in our home. That abortion doctor can grant that woman the right to have an abortion at eight and a half months pregnant. This, this is radical. And if this passes, it will be a part of our state constitution. We as Christians must stand against the murdering, the taking of lives of the unborn children. And I want to call our church and two million people around Ohio, praying people to come together on October 10th and pray that God would intervene in this, that God would change the hearts of all of Ohioans and that we would vote this issue one down. This is something that is out of our control. There's so much money that's being poured into this. We can't fight it with money. We can't fight it because this is bigger than us. But I believe this, that this has an issue that goes right to the heart of God, that God created mankind in His image, that God has a purpose for every single human being, and that God has said in His Word that it is, it, it is sin to kill, to murder, and that's what abortion is. And so I'm asking you on October 10th, the day before election, the election season begins, to would you pray? I'm, not, I'm calling on two million Ohioans to pray and beg God for his mercy, beg God to intervene, and we need God's strength and God's power. And so church, I'm asking you to please get behind this cause and pray that God would do a work that only he can do and we'll give him the glory for it.